guys, it's Chris, and I see that um, just about an, uh, a minute ago, Amber uploaded a video, <laughs> so I'm sure she won't mind me um, uh, doing a little react here since I was just settling down to relax for a couple minutes, um, and this will be the third video of the day I put out for you guys. Uh, it's titled, I made a huge mistake. Uh, let's go to Walmart, Olive Garden, and the casino. So it's going to have more feeder bait, feeder fodder, I like to call it. <laughs> um, let's not waste any time, okay? Because uh, we don't want to we don't want to waste time. Let's get right into this. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I actually wasn't even going to vlog today, but I also didn't even vlog yesterday. I went out, I hung with my mom, but I also filmed and posted three TikToks, which I'll show you guys. Yeah, and they are just absolute freaking cringe, Amber right here but not without the sound because jesus look at this be nice chris look at look at what this woman has done to her body like her legs do not even resemble legs anymore i just i i feel bad in a way because she has to be in so much pain but she's done this to herself she's had more than ample opportunity to make changes and she chooses not to but in all honesty, have you ever seen somebody develop fat like that on their shins? Like, I didn't even know a human body could actually take on this shape. I don't want to get copyrighted. And to the reaction channels who are reacting, I don't want them to get copyrighted either because... You don't give a crap about us, Amber, so shut up. That would suck for all of us now, wouldn't it? Anyways, I've just been having, like, so much fun on the good old TikTok. I do go through phases where I stop posting on there, and then I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my Cameo again. I no, they're not, Amber. Nobody is, nobody is doing that. I haven't done Cameo. I don't know. I feel like it's been, like, over a year. And That's because that would take effort, Amber. I mean, look it. All you do is this, and you haven't vlogged in two days, and you actually went out and did stuff. So, what? <laughs> I still have it in my description. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want. Yeah, and this isn't going to be like a super long react, guys. I just wanted to react and get it out there because I know Amber loves when um, reaction channels react right away to her stuff. I'm sure she did this in the middle of the day, in the middle of the week, so that she thought everybody would be working. But lucky for her, some of us like myself work from home at our own self <laughs> business. If I would have been making jewelry, or I could have just stopped and did this real quick. So lucky for her. Want to uh, have me do, which I love doing it, but for some reason it takes so much energy because I want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying for me to speak to you. So when I Amber, you don't give a crap. Like she can't even at this point fake sincerity. And if anyone still believes it, <laughs> they're probably about as dumb as a box of rocks. I realized I like was starting to go through like a depression. I just like turned my cameo off and I was like, you know what? I need to take a step back because I don't want to be all like depressed in my cameos because it just, it didn't add up for me. And then ever since then, like I have not started it again. So I'm thinking about it. I hear you guys. And, and please stop insulting Yorkies and Pekingese dogs by wearing their hairstyle, Amber. And I know it's greatly requested. Jesus God, look at the size of this woman from this angle. See, this is one of those angles I was talking about in the last react, how um, she uses a lot of filters and angles and stuff to make um, herself look thinner. But from this angle, like the filters are not doing that well. And the, the chins are chinning and um, I see multiple ones. Uh, it's just not flattering. And of course, she's eating. Amber, you don't need to be at freaking Olive Garden. You don't. <laughs> of course, just a big ass bowl of pasta. It looks like some sort of creamy Alfredo pasta. Amber, I thought you were so on track. And you just said in your last video that your stomach couldn't handle the richness of that pasta. So how... How are you eating this and tolerating this? You don't look sick to me. You don't look like your stomach's bugging you uh, today. Ugh, just, okay. Okay. Let's just let her do her thing so I can get the timestamp so I can tell daddy YouTube. Oh God. Do you see that? I'm going to, because I noticed that, 
I'm going to put this in slow motion and play it back a little bit. And I'm going to make y'all watch this with me. Look at, she's so in such a hurry to get the food in her mouth. She has to do this shovel tongue where it like shoots out like a freaking iguana and scoops up the freaking food and, and, uh, you know, taxis it into her mouth. Like, it's so bleh. If you're not watching and you're only listening, please be thankful. If you are watching, I'm sorry. Here we go. And she looks down at, she looks down at the camera. I firmly believe this woman gets her sexy time pleasure from eating and watching herself eat she thinks this is sexy <coughs> okay i just ate so now i'm ready to gag okay um let me put it back on uh one and a half times speed we're not doing this the whole time no way amber what's so funny she's sitting there giggling and laughing it's so funny what's so funny about you sitting here actively committing self-harm and continuing to hurt yourself you shouldn't be eating freaking pasta you shouldn't be eating at olive garden why is your mom doing i think her mom has just accepted the fact that amber's not going to change just go out to eat with her spend time with her enjoy the time i have left with her because otherwise no one would be taking her to eat i'd be like you know what we can hang out I'll take you to the store and stuff, but you have to step on the scale and be showing weight loss every week or I'm not doing it for you anymore. And we will not go out to eat. I will take you for a walk. I'll take you to the park. We're not going to go out to eat. F this. Just F this and F the lies this woman tells. I am over it. <laughs> Do you see why so many like um, reaction channels are walking away for her? Look at the size of her. She is as wide as this entire olive garden bench like the wide angle cannot fit her into the screen amber get your life together <laughs> amber quit looking down at the freaking camera duck facing you're not cute you're not sexy you never were you're never gonna be you think you're hot shit, and this is why she's never going to change. And she's instantly triggered me in this video. Good idea to watch it, huh? Again, another chip in her face. Another timestamp. Thank you very much. Look at look at all this food. It's all like she has a great like a, a, a fettuccine and shrimp Alfredo. There's another like Alfredo or creamy soup over there. There's another soup, the um, deep fried bread squares with the spinach and artichoke dip. Amber's portion of this meal is probably like 1,900, 2,000 calories. I thought, I thought that she was staying under 2,000. You mean she's not going to eat anything else the rest of this day? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And pigs fly. Um, and don't any of you think about that I was thinking about making a foodie beauty joke because I swear to God I wasn't. And if I'm thinking it now, it's because you put it in my head. Um, like she just recorded a cheat day a couple days ago. So what, she's already having another cheat day. I know she said, oh, I'm only going to eat out when I go out, when I'm out with my mom and stuff. But when you're, if you're doing that, when you go out, you shouldn't be getting this shit. Get a side salad and a soup or something. Oh. Okay, guys. So right now I'm currently at the Walmart. I'm actually because you need to be at Walmart, Amber. And again, if you look, the filters aren't filtering as much right here. And you can see she definitely doesn't look as slim as she does in some of her more, more curated footage. In the toy aisle because I'm going to get a toy. Because yeah, you're my a child. Niece and nephew, because I'm going to go see them today. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to get. But I know she really likes to color. It's like I mean, you can actually see the uh, fat rippling on her chin as she walks. Like, and I'm not fat shaming. I am making a physical observation. 
this is a problem. I mean, when you stop walking and your chin is still going, you've got problems. I like with her last time, so I'm probably gonna get her like a new coloring book, maybe markers, probably not markers. I think she likes colored pencils, so I'll do that. Okay, so instead of getting like a standard yeah, coloring book, care. animals and books. Buckled up and ready, because this is truly something I've been wanting to try for like a minute. Okay, so. Hello, hello. Okay, so. We and this little one and two second and ready, clips because of just this is random true. stuff to, to make it look like she's just like this vlogger is bullshit. That's why I said Alex that she mimics Alex Alex Rodriguez at least does what she does better than Amber. Amber truly does the most half-assed everything possible except eat. She goes all in with the eating. Hello, hello. Okay, so we have a taste test, folks. I hope that you're. This is okay. <sighs> Trying to go to my happy place. This bitch doesn't need to be doing freaking taste tests. You just ate 2,000 some calories at the freaking Olive Garden. Amber! Mm, okay. And my, my afternoon was so nice and so relaxed. And I said, oh, yeah, let's react instantly to Amber's video. <laughs> Buckled up and ready because this is truly something I've been wanting to try for like a minute now. So this really pop is about to try it. So so it's freeze dried like sour gummy worms and then freeze dried peach rings. Y'all. This woman doesn't need freaking candy. And she, oh, I've been trying, wanting to try this freeze-dried candy for a while. Guess what, Amber? Keep wanting to try it for a while. Keep wanting. What the actual hell? She's going to send me off the fucking rails. Like, I swear to God. This. This. Baby grand piano sized woman does not need to be doing taste tests of candy after she just ate at the freaking Olive Garden and made the worst choices possible, might I add. Um, that click, click, click. I'm hitting the report button. Report, 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 report. This is this is freaking stupid. This is ridiculous. This is self harm. This is bullshit, and it's infuriating. And like, what happened to just two days ago? She's so on track. Like, why do you have bags and bags of fucking candy, Amber, when you know when you're done a taste test, you know she's already eaten a bag or two. She's going to, she's just doing this because she wants to piss people like me off and she wants the feeder money. That's why I call this, this eating, and this is feeder fodder. So, hashtag feeder fodder, guys. Let's make it happen. Um this whole bag go ahead amber 150 calories if you don't believe <gasps> that whole ass bag what is only a hundred calories me look yeah and guess what it's almost 50 grams of carbohydrates that are pure sugar look there Yep, main ingredients. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Amber, you don't need this. this. Okay. This is part of this biatch's problem. She really, and I've said this before, I sound like a broken record. She really truly thinks the only goddamn thing that matters in a food is the calorie count. It doesn't matter that this is pure sugar, that it's bad for her, that's going to spike her blood sugar, spike her insulin, be inflammatory, trigger more cravings. It does, you know, none of that matters. Oh, well, but the calories are only 150. Derp, derp. Like, no, it matters where your calories come from. It doesn't help that she just ate 2,000 calories worth of absolute shit from the Olive Garden. Like, you can have those type of indulgences and stuff once in a while. She is nowhere near ready. She... Guys, it matters. The calories. It does. But it matters where they come from. What they're made of. 
150 calories of this is going to have a very different metabolic and hormonal effect than 150 calories of protein or of a good fat or of non-starchy vegetables or of berries like it it freaking matters this woman is so screwed and her health is going to be going down the shitter so badly that for a while I, I said like yeah she just needs to worry about getting the weight off but she really is 33 which means in obese years she's probably like about 64 she needs to not just worry about getting the weight off but she needs to worry about her actual health and the nutrition of food and and starting to heal some of that internal damage and and chronic inflammation like she needs to get the weight off but she also needs to be doing damage control by eating healthier and that's not even getting into she just needs to change her habits doing this and say oh I can eat this it's just within a calorie limit it's not changing her habits it's not addressing the problem Gosh, oh, 150 calories. Like what? Okay, so the first like what, Amber? Yeah. One I'm gonna be trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna love the texture. I'm I'm sure you're just so excited, Amber. Because why wouldn't you? I'm sorry, Betty Behemoth here. Why wouldn't you be excited about taste testing candy? All right, I love a peach ring in real life, so I hope this is good. I mean, it's and I bet these are all delicious and tasty and cool. But you know what? When my ass is like on track and I am actually trying to get things, I would not buy these. I would buy these if I said I don't care. I'm having a cheat day, whatever. I'm gonna. I would buy one of these bags. I couldn't buy three because I would eat the whole bag. I know I would eat the whole bag, so therefore I would not allow myself to buy three of them. You know, so. And if Amber had truly been on track and been doing well, maybe she could have bought a bag. Instead, she buys three. It doesn't taste any different because it's literally a peach ring just freeze dried. All right, let's go. She's going to go, mm, oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, the texture. Look at that right there. You see the eyeballs popping out of her head? That's the dopamine hit. Get ready. We're about to watch some pornography because here comes Amber's food gasm. Thanks for the thumbnail. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. There it is. And let me tell you, the filters aren't filtering here and there's no way this biatch is 489 pounds. That is sweet. What the heck? No shit is sweet. It's a freeze dried peach ring. What? Oh, but in it goes. Another one into the old pie hole. Go ahead, Amber, just like, oh, just unhinge your jaw and, and pour the whole freaking bag in. We know that's what's going to happen. 10 out of 10. Of course, of course it's a 10 out of 10. Well, of course. In fact, I'm surprised you didn't rate it an 11 out of 10. Okay, now the summer gummy. The summer I am, I'm pissed. My day, my mood just went from zero to damn it in like two minutes. <laughs> gummy worms sour not summer like what am i doing look at that <laughs> and again there's her thumbnail shoving a big old freaking piece of phallic shaped cow candy in her pie hole for you can't tell me she's not catering to feeders i'm sorry i'm like looking at amber trying to be sexy sticking something that shape in her mouth and i actually gagged me trying to get a thumbnail? All right, let's try it. Yeah, yeah, trying to get a thumbnail, Amber, because you know what you're freaking doing. Gross. Eyeball popping out again. This is self-harm. See, this should be demonetized on YouTube. This should be age-restricted. This is a woman who can't put her legs together, who can't stand on a scale, whose calves and ankles are as big around as my 12 year old son because she's done so much damage and so much muck banging and binging and is so big and and they pay her to do it this anytime she puts food in her mouth should be demonetized and like i said 
Daddy YouTube should be aware of every time this happens. It happens three times in a video. Boom, boom, should be happening three times. Like, this woman will never change unless there's any real incentive to change. I'm sorry. She's just... Mm. Whoa. And like I said, I know there's young girls out there, one in particular, emulating her, wanting to be like her, thinking she just has this super awesome, cool life. And it's really just not. Very sweet. Not as sweet as the peach rings, but still very, 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 very sweet. The texture is heaven. This is true ASMR. <laughs> Amber, that's disgusting. Watching her sit there and do that weird ass chew with her freaking front teeth shoving this pure corn syrup and sugar into her face as a 500 pounder it's disgusting it's 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 disgusting and she's doing this she's taking four or five there's already like five or six times she's stuck this can these candies in her mouth so i'm gonna have a lot of reporting to do see eating them like this i can see why sabina davis reports her because it's it's truly it's it's like I said I don't think she should be deplatformed I know some people think she should but she shouldn't be paid to do this and this should be age restricted her videos should not go out to anybody under the age of 18 eat way less calories which she would get mad about because I know a lot of her viewers are younger and impressionable females because they're just so strong I literally sat here and only had two of these and if I had like real gummy worms I would have already had like 10. Amber, you know you're going to eat 10 of them. You know you're going to eat the whole goddamn bag as soon as you turn off the camera. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, these are so good. They're making my eyeballs, like, roll and pop. But but I'm only going to have one or two of each. That, Amber, you don't get to be the size you are if that's the actual case. Your girl recommends. Of course you recommend. Oh, then a different day. Just random rogue, different day. Let's see. What are you going to copy from Alexandra Rodriguez now, Amber? Hello. Oh, hello. Welcome. Say She's wearing her outhouse dress again. So Shrek chic. Welcome to a new vlog. But I'm pretty sure this is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this. But hello. I actually have not. And then she just yet. keeps goofing around and acting so like cutesy and nonchalant like she truly doesn't care or realize what dire straits she's in with her health. This is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this. But hello, I actually have not put on my lipstick yet, so I need to go do that. But today I'm spending the day with my mom. Because the lipstick, the lipstick amber is going to make all the difference. Mm -hmm. Grandma, so we are currently at the casino. I'm excited. I haven't been. And again, see, no, there's not so minute, many but... filters going on here. It looks like there's some, but not as many. And her skin doesn't look good. She looks rough. They're not working on the chin as much as they used to. Uh, we all wanted to go today, so we're like, yeah, like, let's do it. You can't convince me that this woman isn't, wow, isn't um less than like 525, 535 pounds. My hair is frizzy today. I added none of my little like frizzy spray, so don't mind that. I will say the temperature today is perfect. I think it's like in the high 60s. It just feels so good. <laughs> Now we'll get like a couple little two second clips of random bullshit at the casino and she'll call that vlogging. I've been and by the way, you're not legally supposed to even be recording at a casino. Like I know you, they don't want you to take pictures and stuff like that. So I, she shouldn't be recording in there. She's doing it probably illegally and I'm surprised she hasn't been caught. Light one of these guys up for the last forever. Okay, I won twenty nine fifty. I almost ran the grand. I almost won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> like right there. Look at this side. I won twenty nine fifty. Her mom's recording. See, I almost ran the grand. I'm tell me, tell me, this is a woman who's lost like thirty some pounds in the past month. I won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. Two. I mean, look, look at. Thanks for the thumbnail again, Mama Lynn. But she's just see when the filters aren't really working. Her face is almost as big as it was when she was like 550. You can't be losing weight consecutively and consistently, you know, over days without it eventually starting to show. You can't say, oh, I've lost 30 or four, whatever and not be any smaller and in fact be bigger. <laughs> 
I mean, look at that. Like her chin actually looks like it's trying to creep up and and eat her first chin. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Is it filming? Hi. Is it? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. There's no way. See, so this is a perfect example. Look at this right here, guys, if, if you're not watching. At the 5 minute and 55 minute mark in her vlog, there's no, you can see how this is not filtered the way she filters her other stuff. Because look at how big her her head is. It's huge. I think it's fine. Oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. Dang, Amber. How much was it? Look at this. Her second chin is threatening to overtake her main chin. I didn't know that was physically possible. It all hairs. Good job. I just won $64. Good for you, Amber. Go, oh, go, go spend it at the Olive Garden. Was not going. Now again, now look at here, right back 616 of her video. Look at how much slimmer her face looks. This, she's clearly got the filters going on here and they're working at these angles. I'm going to tell you this at all, but I have this. She's actually talking. I'm not even listening to what she says. Well, I actually was not going to tell you this at all, but I have been off track the last couple of days. Oh my God, what a shocker. She just did a vlog, what, three days ago, four days ago, talking about how she's got it dialed in and she's doing this modified cheat day that helps her stay on track. So she's doing the thing and she doesn't have problems anymore and she, she has it under control. And now <gasps> I've been off track the past couple of days, guys. Wow. And then if she gains weight, she's gonna say, it's the sodiums, guys. It's all the sodiums. It's not the tons of food I just ate. It's the sodium. And the reason why I wasn't gonna tell you is just because like, I feel like there's some- Because you know you're full of shit and we've been calling you out and we've been saying this. Much judgment. Like I have been doing really good and still- No, you haven't, Amber, but anyways. Still, people are judging so hard. Yes, because you lie. You're a lying liar who lies. And whose lies lie. Um, and, and we're the ones who pay your bills. So it, it's it's pretty rude of you to just think we're all so stupid. But go ahead. Just finish what you're saying. Hard. I have lost a good chunk of weight. Claire, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. If you lost a big old good chunk of weight, it's because you took a couple good poops. In my opinion, my body feels that way. In your opinion? Well, your opinion don't mean shit, Amber, because you've gotten yourself up to over 600 pounds. Like, my brain feels that way. My soul feels that way. Like, I feel like it's... Your soul is rotten, Amber. You don't have a soul, possibly. Like, your brain is is defective. We don't care what your brain thinks or what your soul thinks. We need to care about what the scale thinks and what reality thinks and what doctors think, which you need to go see, but you don't even have one. It's been a really good, sorry, there's like lint, cat hair and everything else. Anyways, I feel like I've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far. Amber, you're looking bigger than freaking ever. In 2024, when I said, you know, I'm gonna get on track, I'm gonna do this thing, I said I wanted to lose- You say that every year, Amber. 100 pounds this year and so far like i am amber you could have lost 100 pounds by now already if you were truly committed january february march april at your size you could have lost almost 100 pounds by now you claim to be down about 30 but i don't even think you're down two i think you're probably up five or ten i'm on the path to doing so even though i've been doing really good it's just like still there's so much judgment and it's making it like hard for me to want to like vocalize moments like this where i feel vulnerable because and we're bullies we're jerks and see okay guys the fact is is amber doesn't have time to shit around anymore like this with this half-assed way of doing things and oh i'm i'm gonna be on track for a few days and have a couple two days but then i'm gonna be off track but it's okay because i'll get back on track she is 33 and a half almost in morbid obese years, that's seriously, like I said, about 60, 65, she is going to start having major freaking health complications. And then she's really going to be sorry when she gets to a point where something major happens. What's going to happen? How bad is she going to freak if she has a heart attack or something or develops congestive heart failure or full-blown diabetes? And, you know, and she's really in a bad way. 
um, she's running out of time to be dicking around like this. She needs to be being seen and treated by a, a team of professionals. She needs to be in a facility and she needs to get freaking serious like yesterday. And I'm not kidding. I mean, she she's going to be in trouble. I really don't wish it on her, but I anticipate trouble coming down the line for her. I anticipated some type of health health event for her in 2024, uh, a more major one, definitely one sometime in 2025. And it's coming quick. I have done not the greatest and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it, but it's like so hard to do because there's backlash for me being human. And they Amber, it's not you being human. If you were truly honest with us and showed us honest weigh-ins and were honest about your weight and honest about how you eat, you wouldn't get the backlash you do. But it's the fact that all you do is lie, lie and lie and lie. So yes, people are a little bit fed up with you and rightfully so. Making mistakes and not being perfect as someone who has struggled with food. Amber, nobody would care if you made some mistakes if you actually were trying when you said you were. You know, if you were actually really putting in the effort, people would say, I know you're not going to be perfect. Okay, you messed up a little bit, but you go out of your way to just, okay, you say, oh, I've been off track. I messed up a little. You purposely bought bags of candy and went to the Olive Garden and God knows what else. I'm assuming a lot of takeout was in there. Like, oh. For a majority of their life, I'm literally 33. Like, it's going to happen. Like, I'm going to be making mistakes. And Amber. You can't afford for mistakes to happen at this point. You you can't afford it. She laughs and like rolls her eyes and like preens herself right now. But let me tell you, she's, she's going to be doing a different song and dance and crying and be a little more frantic when whatever said health issue does, does uh, happen. I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of like... Holy shit, who was it in my comment section? Somebody in my comment section and other people's comment section called it. They said one of her upcoming videos will be titled, So Sad About My Weight, Trader Joe's Triggered Me. I swear to God, somebody said that. Who was it? Was it Mike Vasquez? I can't remember who, but somebody said it. What triggered her was her trip to Trader Joe's, even though she told us, shut your mouth, get the hell out of here. I don't want to hear it. Yes, this is processed food, but I don't care. I bought it anyways. Um, and now, imagine that. She's not taking accountability, but on oh, my trip to Trader Joe's, just like, you know, it, it triggered me, guys. Well, you shouldn't have gone there or you shouldn't have bought all that crap, Amber. You know you shouldn't have bought all that crap processed foods it was definitely out of cakes i know what triggered that it was definitely my trip to trader joe's because when i go there i get a lot of like processed foods it was definitely out of like my routine the thing amber your routine is still processed foods whatever we see you get be it from target or walmart or trader joe's you buy almost all exclusively processed food so that isn't what did it you bought a bunch of bingeable stuff and snacks that you know you binge on you did it on purpose. You knew you were going to eat them all. And now you know you're looking big again. So you just, you know, you don't have a good way in for us. So that's why you're admitting it. And did you notice like now she's not even like letting us hear the scale. So you know things aren't good. Things that I have been buying. 510 pounds when? Buying <laughs> for myself. Like it wasn't like part of the routine oh. making mistakes i know what triggered that it was definitely my trip to trader joe's because when i go there i get a lot of like processed foods it was definitely out of like my routine the things that i have been buying for myself like it wasn't like part of the routine that i've been having you mean like the amy's frozen meals and the pre-made meatballs and all that other stuff it's the same thing amber you always buy and eat processed food it just so happens that this time you're processed packaged crap was from Trader Joe's. That's the only difference. And like, I have been eating a lot of the same foods every single day. This woman is actually delusional. Now, if she was eating the salmon and broccoli and a little bit of rice and the eggs, that'd be different. That'd be good. Clearly, she's not eating that. And that's truly helped me so much down track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me feel a little too good. Like sometimes foods like give me a high. If you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater, then you guys understand that. And I really want. So why did you buy them, Amber? 
Why did you buy them? You told us to shut up and not judge when we all said this. I'm going to try to stay away from foods that like give me that feeling. And you know what? She, she does, you know, she deserves, Trader Joe's. she deserves what she gets. I mean, I don't want anything to happen to her, but she knows she has it coming and whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Is not for me or not for me currently. It's like, I just feel super swollen. I just have not been doing very. So that basically means all the crap she bought in that Trader Joe's haul is gone. Imagine that. Think about that go the last couple of days it's like i went to olive garden the other day with my mom which is totally fine because i have been allowing myself to eat at restaurants but no you shouldn't amber because you don't make good choices you didn't go to the olive garden and get like a fish or a salad you got all that shit you showed us during a day where i'm on track i'm able to like fit that into my calories i'm able to do you can't though amber because that meal was probably like i said almost 2,000 calories and you're claiming to eat less than 2,000 calories a day and we know homegirl here is not gonna only eat one meal a day despite her claiming multiple times she's done nomad really good but the olive garden day it was an off track day and i tried i woke up i said you know what back to counting my calories and olive garden was my first meal and i was like okay i got this i got this and then like i was tracking my food while i was there i was fine but then later at night Overeat. I don't expect myself to be perfect. I definitely don't. You need to expect yourself to be perfect, Amber. You can't afford less than perfect, to be honest. Because, holy shit. Look at the shape of you. Look at the state of you and the size of you. You're 33. Like, you can't tell me that she's got all this perfect health and stuff. I want to see scans of your liver. I want to know your triglyceride numbers. I want to get a, a copy of a scan of, of all the fat around your organs and your heart. I wouldn't be surprised in the least if this woman has some degree of like left ventricular hypertrophy or an overall that's an enlarged enlargement of the the ve left ventricle of the heart which is the main pumping part of the heart it wouldn't surprise me if she had an actually just completely enlarged heart and a fat encased heart and just god knows what else she has going on and that's not even getting into the the sensory and circulation issues particularly in her lower half especially her feet and cankles and shin lower part of her legs and the upper part of her legs like I fear for the circulation and I'm sure she has like weeping and discoloration and skin breakdown uh, the, the lymphatic drainage and the, the flow of her lymph has to be like messed up and that, and, and just like her overall circulation to her lower limbs, especially has to be very compromised. And I just don't know how that doesn't sink in to how dangerous her situation is. I, oh at all never have been never will be but coming on here and admitting this is really hard because i know what people are going to say they're going to say that i've given up which i haven't they're going to say they've expected this which okay fine i try really hard to film for the people who are like genuinely here to like watch me but right now in the back of my brain i have a lot of like the rude bullying and harass amber saying that this is stu saying the things i'm saying that you don't have time to waste that you can't afford to dilly dally around like this anymore that you need serious professional intervention that that you are majorly deformed your body is severely like compromised that's not bullying that is fact that is hard truth that you need to hear and I really think your mom should be laying it on the line to you saying, look, unless you start really making changes you're not gonna see my happy ass or my car again you want to do anything, you want to go anywhere, I'll take you to the store only if you buy healthy foods. I'll come over and do random refrigerator checks. Before I take you anywhere, I want you to hop on that scale and show me that you're losing weight. Oh, not losing weight. Oh, gaining weight. Okay, bye. See you next week. And I'd be done. I'd be out. I've seen just like she up. needs that kind of tough love she really does in there and i don't like it i don't like the way it makes me feel like i want to be more vulnerable with you guys and i want to open up with you guys like i used to like so many people reach out to me and they say they miss that side of me but whenever i do it it's just i feel like another wall 
gets added right in front of the wall that was already up. That's because, Amber, you only want to hear good butt kissy things, shelf kissy things, should I say. You you don't want to hear the hard truths. And you need to. The people telling you the hard truths are the ones who actually care about you. The people going, slay queen, you're the best. Oh my God, you look so beautiful. You're so perfect. You're amazing. Keep at it. Like, those are the people that hate you because they're... They're praising you for being and staying the way you are. And they're encouraging you to stay the same. Those are the real haters that hate you. Because people are just like too harsh. The good news is though, I did go grocery shopping today at my normal grocery store. I got the normal foods that I have been eating. And I'm going to start again tomorrow. Back on my same old path here. And my goal was to stay. So what's your weigh-in, Amber? Give us a weight. She won't tell us a weigh-in. Because then we'll know just quote how bad it was. Below 2,000 calories. But like... Also, another part of me is like so mad at myself where I'm like, I want to stay below 1700 now. It's just like, that's like- Amber, you don't need to be below 1700 calories. You just need to stay below like 3200. Uh, <laughs> that's getting in like a problematic area. It's like me wanting to punish myself for having a couple or a few days of not counting. You deserve punished, Amber, to some degree. You do. Calories. That's Although you punish yourself, your existence every day is punishment. That's not okay. I have even been taught that by multiple weight loss doctors or when I was going to the outpatient. Like, you are not supposed to punish yourself. You should forget everything you heard about that from that outpatient because that was a freaking haze clinic. And that that clinic would have effectively killed you. In that way. But like my brain is telling me, well, you've done really bad. But you, but Amber, you don't, yeah, you don't need to restrict down to 1700. You're not, I know this is going to come as a shock to you, Amber, but I'm going to tell you something. You're not dainty. You don't need to go down to 16 or 17 or 15 or 1200. Like I said, you just need to stay below 3,200. And you really want to lose these 100 pounds this year. And if you can, you can do more by lowering your calories to 1700. Like it's just like- Amber, like at this point, I would just be happy if you actually genuinely didn't gain weight this year. I mean, we are, the bar is so low that I think it's actually in the ground, not on the ground, but in it. Thing in my brain. And like these are things that like I would just normally would just jot down in my journal and very much focus in on there and not share this out loud. But I feel like I haven't really been that transparent in my current 2024 weight loss journey. I've kind of just been like, yeah, I'm on track, you guys. Like here's the food I'm eating. This is how many calories I'm having. This is how much weight I lost. Da, da, da. But like, I kind of want to go like a little bit deeper, dig a little deeper and people are going to hate me regardless. So it is what it is. <laughs> like, I just need to like, just truly try my very hardest to like take out the trash and focus on the wonderful people who are. Well, Amber, you don't interact with any of us on YouTube anyways. So what's it matter? Watching me and I love you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. Oh, you love us so much. I guess we're not gonna get a wait. Okay guys, boy, this was not fun. All right, I'm gonna just, this was a raw react. It literally had been uploaded two minutes before. I'm just going to make a quick thumbnail, throw this out there. I don't know if you'll get a notification on it because I already uploaded twice today, but Keep an eye out for it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below. What do you think about this freaking disaster? And I will see you all in the next video.